CBS Radio Network presentation. More than meets the eye. This presentation case is about to start on a mission to tell a story of the sounds that all America hears and heeds. react to sound from early childhood. All day long, all through life, sounds are our most common cues for action. Sound follows us around wherever we go. We hear up, down, and all around us. We hear globally. We see only into the wedge of space before our eyes. The influence of sound is very deep in language. For example, if you overlook something, you miss it. But if you overhear something, you don't miss it. Radio, like sound, is all around us. It's the most far-reaching medium for listening the most versatile entertainer, the greatest salesman. Radio is the only advertising medium that doesn't tie you down. It's upstairs, downstairs, in the kitchen, in the car, beside beach chair and hammock. Research people tell us that less than half of all radio listening is in the living room. More than a third is in the kitchen, 12% in bedrooms and the rest in dining rooms and dens, automobiles and public places. Radio not only goes everywhere, it comes from everywhere. This is George Herman in Tokyo. The big story in this part of the world today is in the Paris Square. And that's the news as it looks from Paris. This is David Schoenbrunn returning you now to New York. Wherever radio goes in time or place, the listener's mind is its own theater. It creates its own colorful costumes and sets, the perfect gown for Scarlett O'Hara, the brooding castle of Wuthering Heights, the sunny schoolroom of our Miss Brooks, each perfect for each listener. In radio, the listener's imagination also serves the advertiser. For through radio, a prospect pictures a product in terms of his own needs, his own likes and dislikes. The listener easily creates the image desirable for him. What a perfectly beautiful house. In radio, the most beautiful house is always one's own most beautiful house. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Each to his own fancy, and no arbitrary model is ever more captivating. Mmm, good. The most delicious soup for every taste. For muscular aches and pains, get soothing relief. For Junior's lame shoulder, father's stiff neck, mother's aching back. By painting pictures in people's minds, radio wins response. And it wins response through the authority of the unseen voice. 
For radio is the sum of many voices, a compelling force in people's lives. We interrupt this program to take you to the Pentagon in Washington for a special bulletin. The Defense Department has just issued the first list of prisoners of war held by the communists in Korea. Here are the names. George Malkin, Private First Class, Muncie, Indiana. Wife, Mrs. Virginia Malkin. Samuel R. Bartok, Private First Class, Austin, Texas. Mother, Mrs. Sarah Mary. Shalkoff. Is that right, Sarah Shalkoff? Yeah. Mrs. Shalkoff, tell us what you saw. I have lived in Elizabeth, New Jersey, 15 years. Always the planes coming over. I'm afraid. Well, where were you when the plane crashed? I was calling out the window my daughter to suffer. I saw it hit, and then was fire. It was terrible. Is this your daughter? Yes. Oh, thank God my baby's right, safe. Watch out, dear. Watch out, ambulance. Thank you, madam. Let's move up and talk to one of the firemen. Radio listeners have heard history and history in the making through 30 eventful years. And in the business of daily living, they tell each other, the radio says it's going to rain, or the radio says it's 10 past 9, or the radio says wheat prices went up today. The radio says it, and that's a fact. The power of radio to win belief works in the service of the advertiser, for people believe before they buy. Nor is radio's influence limited to one particular market, to families of a certain income group, or place, or occupation. Radio's coverage is greater than the coverage of any other mass medium. It speaks through 105 million radio sets to people in 43 million homes, in 23 million automobiles, and within hearing of 5 million sets in public places. Radio goes wherever there are people, even within the home, radio is always close by, through 34 million sets outside the living room. People want radio to reach out to them. They keep on buying new radios. Last year, they bought the astonishing total of 10 million new sets, twice as many as refrigerators or television sets or washing machines. Radio reaches out and captures the interest of virtually every family in the land. And in 1952, more people are spending more time with radio than with any other medium. More than 14 million people listen in the middle of the morning, 14 million in the afternoon, 25 million at night. And these totals are conservative, for national rating services regularly measure only about half of all radio sets. But even on this basis, radio reaches prospects at the lowest cost per thousand rate in all advertising, lower than television, newspapers, or magazines. In radio, a whole nation of listeners votes as an academy of... of our new advertising campaign. Memo to President from Advertising Director. This, this is, is to bring you up, you up to date, date on our, our new media plans. Once again, and after fresh examination, network radio seems to give us the best combination of coverage, low cost, and effectiveness. We need these more than ever because of the brand versus price problem we've discussed many times. Shoppers all over the country today are taking a sharp look at prices. If advertising fails to make one brand more appealing than another, the shopper buys by price. In fact, a brand in a market that advertising doesn't reach is no brand at all. As someone put it the other day, a brand is really a state of mind. Advertising creates this state of mind, turns a product into a brand, makes it come alive at the shopper's fingertips. Only then do shoppers buy by brand and not by price. If we want to keep our brand alive everywhere, we need to reach everybody at a low enough cost to reach them over and over again. Radio still offers the best chance to do this. Radio has kept its rates down, while hardly a week goes by that we don't hear of increases from other media. 
Just now, I'm collecting latest information on each of the networks. But my overall feeling favors radio, because radio gets our product bought by brand in all markets and builds consumer preference and dealer support everywhere. Early next week, I hope to be able to... Now, in radio, a whole nation of listeners votes as an Academy of Awards. And there's little question which network has the Oscar. CBS Radio has more top programs, daytime or nighttime, than all other networks combined. In report after report, the industry's top 29 summary gives CBS Radio some 20 of the biggest audience shows on the air. The appeal of this program schedule attracts one-third of all network listening in big cities, in small towns, and all across the nation's farmlands. Also, the average audience is bigger on CBS radio. It's not just that the top programs pull up the average. It's because any program gets a lift as part of CBS radio's complete lineup. The result is low cost. CBS Radio has the lowest cost per thousand listeners in all network radio. And CBS Radio's cost has stayed low, far lower than magazines, newspapers, or television, lower than almost any commodity you can name. Here for nighttime programs is CBS Radio's cost per thousand trend for the past eight years, compared with the rising U.S. wholesale price index. In contrast, Last year, the cost of reaching a thousand people through leading magazines increased as much as 35 percent. Low cost permits advertising frequency, and the changing character of consumer shopping today makes frequency indispensable. You need frequency to pre-sell the 80 million shoppers who go to self-service stores every week. It's frequency that makes the multiple impressions that make sales. All the leadership values of CBS Radio in programs, coverage, and economy are acknowledged by American business. For advertisers invest more dollars to build sales on CBS Radio than on any other network. P.S. I've just finished taking a fresh look at the various networks and I'd particularly like you to hear the CBS radio story. And so, in the parade of network values, the top programs lead to the biggest audiences, to the lowest costs, to the biggest values in all advertising on the CBS radio network.